Hi, this is Julie Deneen with Fabulous Blogging. Today is another episode of Design Live where I show you live what I do um, on a day-to-day -day basis with social media and web design and you can learn along the way. Today I'm discussing circle management. So this is specifically for people who are interested in Google+, specifically for people who are new to Google+, and don't understand the idea of circles, how to manage them, how to keep up with the people that you want to keep up with, knowing how to add people back because it's polite, but at the same time not wanting to clutter up your news feed. So the first thing I want to just set the stage for is um, it's very confusing for people who just start on Google+. Plus. They think that um, circles means a community and circles is really just a term for a list or um, a category. So on Facebook sometimes you can categorize your friends as uh, family members, close friends, acquaintances, classmates, that sort of thing. On Twitter you can create lists of people that you like to follow based on topic, based on um, different communities you're in. Google Plus uses the word circle. Um, it sounds like community. I think that's where the confusion comes from. When you're on Google Plus, it actually doesn't say circles in the menu bar. It says people. So when you go into the people section, then you are looking at your circles. A second thing that I want to explain real quick um, is that circles are different than a Twitter list or a Facebook friend or family because circles are fluid. They're constantly changing and it's perfectly acceptable to modify them on a weekly or monthly basis. When you make a Twitter list, usually it stays the way it is and you add people. It's very rare to take people out. Um, Facebook, the same thing, either they're friend or they're family or they're not. Um, with circles, it's more like, um, this is a terrible way to say it, but it's more like a caste system or a hierarchy. So when you first get to know somebody in Google+, you, they're in you know, the more broad category of circle, you know, an acquaintance circle, and I'll show you exactly how to do this in a minute. And then as you get to know them or you notice that they're interacting with your posts, sharing your posts, that sort of thing, then they kind of move up to the next level, which I like to call the daily, I call it the daily peeps or the daily feed. These are people that you'd like to check in with once a day, see what they're posting. Um, so that's kind of like the middle of the road. And then the next tier up would be a don't want to miss. And these are people that you want to make sure you see every single day. You want to know the minute they post because their content is that good and that relevant. So it's very normal for people to go from one tier to the next and maybe back down if they're not um, producing what you expected them to. So today I want to show you exactly how to do that. If you're the kind of person who got on Google Plus and started following everybody, it's okay. You don't have to spend hours cleaning out. We're just going to um, put everybody in acquaintance circle and then kind of move people out that you know you really want to see. And then you can continue to clean out your circles. And the nice thing is um, Google allows you to delete an entire circle in one fell swoop so that if you, for any reason, decide that the people in that circle you don't want to interact with anymore, you can delete them quickly rather than um, with Facebook or Twitter, it's a little bit more tedious. So for the rest of this tutorial, I'm going to have my screen um, up and I'll show you exactly how to do this. Okay, so we're going to start here. Um, I've got my circles um, open and the way I got to it is if you are on, I'm going to open up a new tab, if you log into your Google Plus home page, um, you see something very strange on the home page. Um, up here at the top on the left, you see where it says home, we're going to go to people. Now when you click on people, the next thing you want to do is click on your circles. So that's where I'm at right now. You'll notice um, that here are the circles that I have. Um, I have an acquaintance circle. This has 2,128 people. This is a great circle for people you don't really know yet. You're not sure about their social media habits and routines. This is like an inbox where you put everybody who you're not sure about yet. 
The next circle I have is actually, this is the third tier up. This is my don't want to miss a thing. These are people that I want to know every time they post something because their content is that good. The daily peeps, this is a, just a daily feed of people that I like to check in with. This is the main circle I use when I'm browsing on Google+, and I'll explain more what that means in a minute. This marriage show audience, for a while my husband and I, when he wasn't out on business, we were doing a marriage show, and these are the people that I would invite. Um, sometimes you can create circles so that you can send notifications out to them, so that was this circle. Um, and this notification circle is a circle of people who've asked to be notified whenever I post something. So you'll see people um, on Google Plus offering notification circles. But for the purposes of a beginner tutorial, let's just focus on the acquaintances, your daily peeps, and your don't want to miss a thing. Now, if you have a circle already that you just want to edit the name, all you really have to do is click on the circle and you'll notice a pencil comes up or a share button or a delete. And if you click on the pencil, you can change the title very easily. But if you don't have a circle yet, you can just click the plus and you will create a new circle. So back to my acquaintances circle. So um, these are all the people, whenever I add somebody, they go into this, okay? Um, now, let's say there, I haven't done um, a, a upkeep in a while, so I know that there are people in this acquaintance circle that really should be in my daily peep. So, for example, Peyton Price, I know that I would really like her to be in my daily peeps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag, and I'm going to drop her into the daily peeps. I'm going to then X her out of my acquaintance circle. You don't have to do that, but Google Plus limits the amount of people that you can follow, which is what you're doing when you add people to circles. You're following them, and it, they limit it to 5,000. So you really don't want to duplicate people unless there's a good reason. Um, there might be a good reason, for example, in my notification circle, these 16 people want to be notified. They're also in my daily peeps circle as well. So in that case, it made sense to duplicate. Um, so another one, Lise Witherspoon, I know I want her in my daily peeps, so I drag her in and then I remove her out. Now if you have a lot of people, um, you can click and you can hold down the shift key. Um, I don't even know that you need to. Yeah, you don't even need to hold down the shift key. Um, and you can go through and find um, people that you know you want to be in your daily peeps. Um, so these four people I know I want, so I'm going to just click and drag them all. Okay, now the only thing is you have to then remember to go ahead and delete them. Okay, so that, so that you're not, um, yikes. And that's the other thing is it, it updates them. She wants to be my daily peeps. Um, so you can do things like that, okay? So that's how you move people around. Another way to move people around is very simply if you're on the home page and you're scrolling through your feed and you see somebody that you know, ooh, that's really interesting. You just hover over their name and hover over here and then you can adjust them so that they go into the same, you know, whatever circle you want. So I took them out of acquaintance and put them in daily peeps, okay? So that's another way to do it. Um, okay, so here's how you use circles in a way that helps um, filter things out. So when you're on the Google homepage, I'm going to go back to the homepage again. You'll notice up here, you'll see your most, your three first circles. If you click on more, you'll see your other circles. Okay, so here's my acquaintance circle, and I very rarely use my acquaintance circle to browse because um, it's just a lot of people and it's hard. So I always start with my don't want to miss a thing because these are the people that I really want to I want to see what's going on. Um, daily peeps, this is the thread that I use um, most often when I check in. So these are the <clears throat> my daily peeps and when I click on this I'm only seeing things from that group of people. 
So when you are browsing through Google Plus and you're clicking all, you're seeing people that you follow. You're also seeing recommended content from Google Plus. It can be really overwhelming. So this is my daily peeps. Okay. Um, now for don't want to miss a thing. For your don't want to miss a thing, you may want to turn on your notifications. So right here in this circle, it shows you who's in it. If you click this button, this will turn this on, which means every time somebody posts something, it will show up in your notification bar. Now, just be careful. This is why your don't want to miss a thing um, group should really be no more than probably 50 people if you're going to have your notifications on. Otherwise, you'll have a lot of notifications. And these are people you really trust, people that you like their content. It's interesting. So you can always come back and turn that off again. Um, but if you turn it on, you will be sure never to miss. This little gear right here um, allows you to, to filter your home feed. Remember I said you're, you're all, this is everything. So what you can do is go through each one of your um, circles. So it's, see how it says show posts and home stream. We have it, yes. But I would like more, which means I want more of these people in my home stream, not less. And so then I'll go to Daily Peeps. I'm going to put them in more as well. And for acquaintances, I'm going to do fewer. What will happen is then your All tab, and you do log in, will have your Don't Want to Miss a Thing, and will have your daily peeps showing more than just your acquaintance circle. Now another way to um, work on your um, feeds and your circles, I call them feeds because that's how I use them most often, is to go to your profile and look at the last thing that you shared. Okay, So I shared some photos. Now Natalie, she, um, I actually don't even have her, so I'm going to add her to my acquaintance circle. But if I go through something and I see people um, that are commenting, I just can check on those comments and make sure that they're in the right circle. And Mike Alton, I really like him. I don't want to miss anything he posts, so he's on there. Uh, Jimmy Lanley, she's another one. I have her in Daily Peeps, but I actually want to up her to Don't Want to Miss a Thing. She's constantly interacting, so I'm going to do that. Another way is to use the arrow on the um, top right and hit view post activity. You can see all the people who have shared it and you can move them from um, one circle to the next based on how you see them interacting with your content. So just as a review, circles are just groups of people. When you add people to your circles, you are limited to 5,000. And when you add them, this means you will now see them in your home feed. However, you can control how much of them you see. Um, by going into people, you can always add. You can also delete very easily by clicking on one and hitting the delete button. It will delete all 239 people. They will n you will no longer be following them unless they're in another circle. Okay? You can add also drag entire circles into other circles. So I could drag this and I could drag it into another circle. I could select all, okay? I could select all and um, and I could drag them into a different circle if I wanted to. The other thing you can do is share a circle. I like to do this for my don't want to miss a thing because it's small and I write, in, I write um, if I click on don't want to miss a thing, and I click share this circle, I can write um, that I want to share these people because I know they're very relevant, I know they share great content, um, and then people can add them with one click of a button. This is also how you do a circle share. Um, just be careful what circle shares you join because some of them can be really spammy. Um, if you want to sort your, um, your big inbox, you can also sort by recently updated. And these will show you um, people that have recently been active um, on Google+, and that's helpful to know. 
Um, and you can also decrease your circle size. What this means is, you know, you're allowed 5,000 um, 5, people to follow, and you can set it so that each circle has a maximum circle size. Um, I haven't really found that useful yet, but some people may. Um, and then just to finally, when you're on the home screen, you can use your circles to filter out your feed. You can click on a circle and you can turn on notifications or you can turn them off. If you turn them on, they show up in your bell here and then you can never miss, you'll never miss a post. You can also set it so that it shows in your home stream, which is your all stream, and then you can choose how much of it you want to see. Um, as a side note, this Explore tab, this is just all of the things that are trending on Google at any given time. If you're wanting to look for new people to follow, you can look at the trends and you can turn the post over. If the post is interesting, like this is a kind of a cool um, recipe, you can turn the post over and you can see all the people who are interacting with it and you can check them out and follow them. So I hope this has been um, a helpful tutorial. If you want to check out any more of my tutorials, um, you can go to fabulousblogging.com or you can subscribe on YouTube. As always, I update my Google Plus brand page, Fabulous Blogging, regularly, and you can also follow me at Julie Chanel Deneen. I hope you have a great day.